Hey YouTube, what's up? Leo Pozzo, you know what it is guys. Thanks very much for tuning in. Thank you very much for all my new subscribers. I definitely appreciate it. And uh, if you guys haven't watched some of my previous videos that were more related to the renovations, we had a couple of projects uh, that we got complete and we started. So I just wanted to take you guys along the way. So definitely check out those renovation projects if you guys have any renovations to do at your place or any jobs or whatnot that maybe you're interested in learning something besides just aquariums guys so here we are we're back at the 125 the saltwater coral reef tank and uh, we picked up a new couple of fish today we picked up a powder blue tang which is a nice beautiful size looks super healthy and I'm pretty excited and we also picked up a yellow tang which is a nice size as well very nice and thick and healthy and um, I picked those up today for my own personal tank and um, you know that we have my 125 gallon tank also tied into my 35 gallon uh, saltwater tank, secondary tank that's tied up into all one system underneath one sump filtration system, two return pumps and one skimmer. And they're both running under LEDs. Um, we have some good news and we have some bad news. If you have been watching or not, been staying tuned in the other episodes, uh, we had a nice super large long tentacle anemone, which, which was like a blue purpley color. Uh, we actually sold that, gave that to a new owner, to one of my clients. He came by, he liked it, he fell in love with it, he just had to have it, so I sold it to him. And along with that, we had a copper band butterfly fish and the blonde nasal tang. The blonde nasal tang is well sold, and the uh, copper band butterfly uh, fly fish is well sold to the same client. He came by and picked up those items. So basically, that's pretty much the bad news that we sold those uh, few fish and coral and the good news is that we picked up a few new fish and coral today as well. So I'm going to get these guys acclimated to the tank. Let me show you them first. Might be a little bit dark right now but inside here we got the powder blue tang. Pretty nice uh, beautiful size. This thing's at least one, two, three, four, about five, about five inches, four to five inches easy. This guy's really nice and big and healthy. And I'm pretty excited to get this bad boy in my tank. This is the powder blue, guys. And we also have here is the uh, yellow tang. Beautiful yellow tang. Nice size. I'm going to say this guy's about three and a half to four inches. Very nice and thick. Uh, and a nice uh, gut to him. A nice belly. Nice body. So I was pretty impressed. All the fins look like they're top notch in shape. So I'm going to get these two fish acclimated to the tank. Again, it's the, the 125 and the 35 gallon are as one big system all together. So I'm not going to be really putting these fish in my 125. I'm going to be dropping them in the 35 gallon. And uh, my reason for that is basically I just, uh, my tank's already stocked. It's already pretty loaded. I notice any fish that I pretty much add to my 125 gallon, there's not really too much, um, there's not really like too much room for the bigger fish to swim around such as the powder blue or maybe even this yellow tang would probably fit in there no problem but being a new fish in such a large environment uh, of water here and since the live rock is pretty much uh, like uh, there's not really much room basically like these fish they try to hide and there's not really much room for them to hide so I noticed they kind of scrape themselves and maybe in the long run might even die. So I prefer to just probably toss them in my 35 gallon. It's not the biggest tank, but it's not crowded with live rock. It's the same water system. They have their space, maybe a little bit more comfortable, and maybe in the near future, we'll be tossing them in the 125. So guys, stay tuned. I'm gonna go ahead and start acclimating these fish right now, and I'm gonna bring you guys away. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see what's next. <laughs> 